blood and dog cells and all this. I'm like, what the fuck are you putting in this shit? Like, you, oh, well, you need this vaccination so your kids can get it. So I actually look at the ingredients in all these shots, bro. It's all kind of crazy fucking shit in these shots, y'all boys. Like, it's crazy, bro. So yeah, y'all people got that get vaccines catch more shit than people that don't get them. Yeah, if 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 you notice, majority of people from um... and, and see the vaccines, all it is is injecting you with the virus. They 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 get oh. you sick with the virus to make to Look, try to make your body immune out. to it. That's what check they say. Out. That's what they that. say. That's and I hate to build on race. I hate to talk. I hate to make this a racial conversation, but I really do believe that the vaccines wasn't made for our people. Now I believe vaccines was made for babies. Fact. Reason why is because they I believe the immune rats. system need the white rats. The white system. rats yeah. is the most common thing to they, to, to Caucasian oil. Facts. The Caucasian they need the oil. vaccines. They need the vaccines. We don't. Facts. So they testing them on them rats. They testing them on them fucking white ass. They uh, well, they know what you want to know what happened when you want to know what happened when they gave the black people vaccines? Their bodies fought it up, tried to fight it, tried to fight it, and they, they and some of them lost. That you got these 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 man made. A condition. What you think? Like, what uh, you think? That, what you think? Uh, what you think? That, that, that's what's going on with that uh, bullet outbreak. Somebody. What you think? What you think? What y'all think? think AIDS is AIDS. When you really look at AIDS, AIDS is an autoimmune deficient. You don't die from AIDS. You die from catching a fucking cold again. Yo, y'all So what they did in Africa, they injected all our people over in Africa with something that causes their immune system to so, yeah, no longer be. That's the whole to, thing. They, 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 yeah, they were testing to have shit. A deficiency. They, they, they was testing is. things. An they was deficiency. testing things. Yeah. They were, they was testing things. Testing what if I tell y'all what they, do to what the they did to the Tuskegee? Hey, what? What if I tell y'all what they did to the Tuskegee Airmen? They didn't just do to the Tuskegee Airmen. Talk what to if you. I told y'all they did it? For, what if I told y'all they did it? For, and in just to see, just to compare how that how that will actually affect different races, the different right. races of people. Right. They know. They know it's a difference in white and black. They know right. it's of a difference in. That's where racism first came about with the knowledge it's, of the it's difference. It's called eugenics. It's called eugenics. And, and to piggyback on what knowledge said, um, the flu, the flu outbreak came from this. Check this out. And I watched this from Bobby Hemmett from a long time ago. If you look up the influenza, you got the swine flu and you got the avian flu, right? The swine yep. flu come from pigs and the, and the avian flu come from birds. Now, check this out. What two major holidays do people in America consume the most fucking pork and birds? Thanksgiving. And, 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 right. And so guess what? So everybody eat fucking pig, pork, and they eat birds. And you get the fucking flu. From consuming all that fucking meat because it lies dormant. Think about it now. You got all these pigs. You can Google that shit. The swine flu come from pigs getting a virus in their body, and they already told you that there's certain viruses out that that's right now do, do that do not fucking die when you give them antibiotics, and even when you cook certain meat, certain fucking uh, viruses are so fucking tough that heat doesn't kill them. So when you eating all this shit. Of course you're going to have an outbreak because you're eating fucking meat and the meat is doing nothing but decaying in your intestines because our human bodies, our bodies was not made to consume meat because our intestinal tract in the, in the stomach acid was not meant, is not strong enough to break down uh, animal proteins and shit like that. It was made specifically designed to break down plant-based you know what I'm saying? Fibers and stuff. That's what our stomach acid is strong enough to break that down, but not fucking meat. You know what I mean? And that's how we get colon cancer and all this other shit. Yeah. Trap to make money. At the end of the day, they want you to eat meat, but they want your ass to be vaccinated so your ass don't have a reaction as their agenda becomes apparent. Right, apparent. right, bro, right. You are so right. Because, you so because right. if you ain't vaccinated, take down, break out with some shit that are scared the whole world. Oh, they be like, what the fuck happened to this kid? He just ate some McDonald's chicken nuggets and his whole fucking face changed and shit because he was not vaccinated. And then they're going to tell you, believe, damn, believe, I got to be vaccinated just to eat McDonald's plague, food? The, the, the bubonic plague was because that's when people start eating a whole bunch of fucking meat and they was eating meat. They started from bush meat. They were eating bush meat. Out there now, you look at parts of Africa... You look at Monrovia. What are you talking about? The Black Plague? 
the yeah. bubonic, the bubonic plague that took out. Oh, 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 fuck! I'm thinking about that. Ebola. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 bro, the, the, bro, the, bro, the, you the so bubonic, right. The, the the bubonic plague was. Hey, 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 sh shit! I don't give a damn what nobody say. That was a white plague, the bubonic plague. Oh yeah, the it black was. Plague it was, was it Ebola. Was. The black plague was fucking Ebola because no, we're trying to do. like there's this plague like in the um. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, one thing you gotta look at though, days. check this out. When, Hold on, real, let me say um, this. It, let me say this because now it's just said some shit. Now it's just said some shit. I gotta, I gotta touch on that for y'all go in now. Now, now now it said that black is, is E. coli, but guess what? Your ass can only get E. coli if you fucking Ebola, wrong with Ebola, some animals. Ebola. Ebola, Ebola if you fucking with some animals. Right. Ebola like, is from animal feces. That shit come yeah. from animal fucking bacteria. E. coli too, I mean, right. Unclean meat. Yeah, yeah, all that all that stuff. Hell I mean, yeah, that's look at the bubonic plague. plague. The bubonic plague, plague was the same They, they were eating monkey meat. And the reason the I said Monroe plague was the same shit. The, the reason, bubonic the reason plague I said happened Monroe to Monroe be, be, because, because out there in Monrovia, right? Yeah. Like, like, you, you, you. You uh you look at what is it uh what Morgantown the capital or something like that? You look at that and, and they actually shit on the beach because they don't got no clean water or they don't got no 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 public restrooms and they all shit on the beach. So when you look at stuff like that and and they actually going to pick off that beach to get find little scraps stuff like that. They they getting their water. They living in trash. They living in trash and they eating oh. in trash. So 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 so. <laughs> they 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 they're taking the animals that 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 that's coming around there. And hey, you, you know, want to know what's right. so you got, you got and see when you look at Africa, most beautiful place in the fuck. Yeah. And they taking shit like monkeys and 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 and, and grass. Hey, that's a good point. And, and hey. stuff and stuff that we don't eat. Now they taking that, realizing now, telling you these people they already they, they, it's fucked up. Far, far as like that situation, no running water, right? So, so, so that's the first thing. Now they 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 going around to these markets, right? Where they got meat that's been sitting for about right. two weeks, and they still trying to sell it with more meat coming in. So it's more meat coming in and more meat than more meat that's leaving because in Africa, there's a lot of people poor. They trying to sell this stuff. You even got it out there in Haiti where they're making mud cookies and pregnant women eating them right. for the nutrients. Right. It's all right. Right. like when you when you look at it, man, it's crazy. It, it gets deep. I'm trying to break okay. it down. Hey, hey, Y'all guys get what I'm saying, man. It's deep. It's deep. You want to know you want to know why you want to know why you want to know why 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 the first people to eat meat were, were, were Europeans because there's that 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 they don't live the Caucasus Mountains and shit where they live at certain tropical fruits and certain vegetation don't grow, so they had no, no choice but to eat meat. So That's bullshit. Is true because That's bullshit. Hold up. I, you, I, got, I, I don't fall for that shit, no. I don't believe that shit. The motherfuckers could have took some seeds with their ass. <laughs> they just savages it, fell. It, 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 it wasn't the last they could have, they because you horse realize, and living they at a higher horse. elevation, you would have had to take in more protein and stuff, so eating meat would have been like Understandable why they was doing it. I, I mean, and, was, and, was I, and, I, and I and, and I, I, and I get saber tooth off the fucking off X Men, saber tooth off X Men Wolverine hey, yeah, brother. That's 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 a fucking that's a that's what that's what that's what eating a lot of meat used to turn humans into. Exactly. Hey, I said we can grow weed in Colorado. Show that we could grow shit in high altitude. Bro, Shambhala, Shambhala. <laughs> Is a place in in Asia somewhere by the fucking by uh excuse me y'all I'm coughing this shit but uh it's by it's somewhere by the damn Himalayas but this High fucking certain altitudes. area area only seven years it's like the route to get there is every seven years so you can only travel every seven years and it's and, and the reason being is because for seven straight years. You know the the the, the fucking the, the 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 weather is so fucking inclement that you can't get through it. You can't travel through it to get to Shambhala. All right. So and these people live in high altitude. and They got the best of everything. The fucking fountain of youth is probably in that right, 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 they got, right, right. They got fruit right. in that bitch that a. They got fruit in that bitch that a cure every illness. They grow right. real fruit up. They grow real vegetables I, I, out there. Like, I, I, well, I mean, what if they I, wasn't I, really living on the mountains and more in caves? 
I got a question. Huh? I got a question. What well, if they weren't really living on the mountains and more in caves? I got a question. Even if they like, living in caves, you can grow for you can grow shit at least outside that motherfucker if you need to. Hey, I, I got feel a question. You. I got you a feel question me like boys. Hey, trigger. I'm looking. I'm looking yeah. at your profile pic. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask you a question, then I'm gonna go into something. Your profile picture is showing what? What's your profile picture on it showing? To be honest, that is actually shown. Um, if you was if you was um able to recreate, you know, operate <laughs> where the earth actually is self sustaining. Okay. I think the world is a freaking free energy. Okay. I think if you energy machine out of the raw materials that's found on earth, if you can find a way to create a free energy machine, if you can make that machine powerful enough, I think you actually have created a time machine. Okay, now check this time out. Time machine is a fucking free energy creating energy now, check, uh, now, check, machine. Now check this out. Uh, everybody, everybody on this panel, right, live in America, right? Everybody live in America, right? No, yep. I don't think everybody do. Okay, no. now check this out. Now check this out. Uh, now I remember, I'm 31 years old. I remember as a little boy, now, now this is kind of off topic, but it has a lot to do with what, 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 what we're talking about. I remember as a little boy, bro, that when I was growing up, before it rained, you could smell the rain before it come. True. Bro, yep. I've been living, bro, yep. I have yet since, I don't know, I, <laughs> bro, I have not smelled the rain come. And whenever this the rain comes, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. It's almost now like a I got a rain, testimony, like, man. Like a I got a shit, testimony. Like, I haven't yeah. seen real rain, bro. I have yet to see a real rain. rain and man. it really don't lighten it up no more. Right. For I got real. a testimony. Man. I got a testimony. I got a testimony for all y'all on this panel. The reason why you can't smell rain is not because they doing something to the rain. It's because us. Now, the reason why I know that's true is because I was in 2001, I had an allergic reaction. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all a little life story about myself, man. Like, I got allergies and shit, and I almost died from my motherfucking allergies in 2001. Now, <clears throat> when I was in the hospital, they had to literally give me steroids to help the medicine help my allergies because the medicine that they had available wasn't helping my allergies at the time, and I was only 11 years old. Now, when they pumped me with all these steroids, I guess it purified my system. Like it, it purified my system to, to a, to a. I had, I had a heightened sense of hearing, a heightened of, of um, you know, sight, all of that, taste, and everything. Man, look, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, bro. I spent almost, I spent almost three months in the hospital, and I, I'm eating basically salads and shit like that one time my parents brought me some fast food and that motherfucker brought me fast food in the hospital one time and the one time they brought me fast food i told them i did let me tell you why this is odd to me and why this still stands out in my life today <clears throat> reason why i said i didn't want it is because the way it smelled Mm. The fucking, the fucking, I could smell the fucking <laughs> cow the burger was cut from she when I, when they, when, when my mom's walked that Burger King bag in that motherfucking mm. hospital. Mm. Smelt the cow, bro. I didn't smell the beef cow that the beef came from. Mm. Like you can literally smell shit. Mm. That's deep. You, you can smell you shit smell on the shit. meat. You can smell shit on the meat. Now think about this for a minute. Do y'all think if McDonald's can sell a million hamburgers, do y'all think they wiping all them cows' ass and Hell cleaning nah. all the shit out that cow before they cut that bitch up and put it in your food? Hell no. Nah. Nah. Oh. And, and they already now, one I'm of the biggest is, methane sources. I'll tell you this. I think the reason why I smelled that shit on that hamburger was because the hospital pumped all them steroids in my young ass body and saved my motherfucking life. And I purified my senses and my motherfucking senses was heightened to the point where I smelled exactly what was on that damn meat. And I'm going to tell you like this. To this day, I've never smelled fast food like that because I'm not on that medication no more. Oh, so I see where you're going I with think, this. I, see what you're I going. think, I think, yeah, I, after my senses, you know, it wears off after a while because I get out of the hospital. I go back yeah. to my normal life. I'm eating fucked Get up. Get used to smelling. Knowing it. Yes, yeah. and I think the food is dulling down our senses. Oh. I so. think the food 
is not just dulling down our vibration. It's just like man. if you smoke a cigarette think, or you smoke a joint and you can't smell it, but somebody else that don't smoke could really smell it. Yeah, they can really smell it. Yep, it's the That's same deep. way. That's it's deep. the same way. Like, you're talking about, it's women out here now. I seen it earlier, I think last month or some shit. There was a chick had a video on there. She was vegan. And she said, she said, a guy asked me out on a date and he told me he was, he, he told me he eat meat. And she said she could smell the meat on his breath. That's deep. She been vegan so long, she could smell the meat on this man's breath. That's deep, bro. That's so deep. it's like this, bro. It's, it's like this, man. I think the us consuming meat is dulling down our fucking five senses that they taught us about in school mm -hmm. when we was first got down in kindergarten, bro. When they first taught us our five senses, they dulling down them motherfuckers. Sense of sight, sense of touch, sense of hearing, sense of smell, all of this shit. Sense of that taste. Sense of all taste. Of That's because the mucus, the mucus pretty much block all your shit up. That's what, right. That's what Dr. Serby said. That's right. That's fact. Fact. Yep. Fact. I think the hospital cleared up all the mucus out of my body, and I was able to smell that fucking shitty ass burger coming to my ass, bro. And I said, "Yo, I don't want that shit." I could smell the grease on the fries. I said, "I don't want that shit. <clears throat> I don't want that shit at all, bro." And deep. now I see why y'all ever remember. Now, now, how old is y'all? Y'all probably everybody is old, right? I'm 31. All right, so we 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 can say you a part of this too. So like. Y'all grandparents, y'all grandparents, not y'all parents, y'all grandparents. We all pretty much got the same type of grandparents because we got generations and generations. They got patterns. They got similarities. I, our grandparents, this is the reason why our grandparents wasn't fucking with fast food like that. That's true. That's true. Bruh, like vegetables when they were children i think their senses were, were were way heightened than ours are but our 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 senses are heightened in areas that theirs probably wasn't because of technology you see what i'm saying but but the up that we don't even understand what they understood and they couldn't see we saw about fast food being so good all they knew is that kids Little McDonald's pizza, but you hear about your grandmama, they be like, Shit, I don't want none of that shit. I'm gonna sit here and clean these collard greens and motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, and goddamn eat my goddamn vegetables and do what I do. And hey, this, I ain't gonna and, lie to you. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now this is this right here. This how I know that this shit is real, dog. I was before before I got on this call, I was I was asleep. Something woke me up my sleep and, and I'm just I'm just going out on a limb. I honestly believe, bro, that that our minds and our energy is so vibrant, bro. I woke up out my sleep and the first thing I did is go to my phone and see if y'all boys was on live, bro. Like I honestly believe dog that the sense that we're using right now, because we all from different parts of the, of the United States. We never grew up with each other, but dog, it's almost like bro, we all on the same wave, man, bro. That's how I know this shit is real, bro. Like I, I look at it like we all stars aligning. Right, like yeah. I believe, that, I believe, I believe that the sense that, that I believe that the sense that we use it right now to to correlate correlate with each other, we all got the same talk, the same rhetoric. We all know the same shit. I believe that this sense that we using right now governs all the other senses that they because they only told us about five. I mm -hmm. more than five. But I believe, I believe we got twelve. Right. It woke me up my sleep, bro. Like for real, bro. Like for some reason, some say, "Hey, man, check your phone." I think them boys on live. As soon as I yeah, phone, we got a lot more sense than they think we have. Y'all boys, y'all boys, hey, y'all boys, y'all boys woke me up out my sleep, dog. Y'all boys woke me up out my sleep, brother. It's, it's just like on Dragon Ball Z. Well, old boys, like, yeah, I can feel his energy from he, he he's on level thousand, bro. We oh, let me. Go hey, ahead and goddamn. Let people. me let me pick the world up. Hey, let me pick the world up and drop it on y'all head real quick, Stop goddamn. Because y'all talking about dragon motherfucker. I, I got to go in now. Hold up dragon now. Y'all know that whole cartoon. Y'all know when that cartoon was first created. Talk that nigga eating in the seventies. I've been catching them niggas. That eating. shit was made so long ago. It's not even in funny, and it was based bro, off of hey, even mom, older stories. Like in the seventy, it came out in the seventy, dog. And I don't believe that Dragon Ball Z is about black people, dog. They just they hey. just change the shit around, bro. I believe they change that shit around. I think Listen, it's about man. us because Super Saiyan. I think, I think, no, I think, I think Dragon Ball Z is a story that is from all perspectives of the truth. And the I reason why you. I say that is you got to understand what Japan is. 
If all right, all right, hey, uh, hey, knowledge, knowledge. Hey, anybody on that yeah, screen? I'm here. Share? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, I need you to screen share and pull up something for me, bro. All right, what you need, brother? The going pull up? convex earth. The convex earth map. <clears throat> oh, not that one. You taking it there? <laughs> hey, I just want to show y'all something real going. quick. Hold on, Talk I got you. I, I got you. Going. I know where you're going with it. Talk to me, bro. I know where you're going with it. Talk to me. All right. So <clears throat> when when you pull up the convex earth, let me know so I can so I can look on look on there and see what see what you got what you got on there. Bro, you finna blow out mind real quick. I already know where you're going with it, dog. Talk to me, bro. We all we all know Japan has always been cool as fuck to and they've always been cool as some part of Japan has always been cool as fuck to you, whether it's got the samurais and food, it's something about Japanese people. We just fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like now check, check this out. I asked, I asked my old heads a, long, a while ago. I said, I said, you know, when America was first discovered and shit, and, and before the West was open, the West side of the country was open and shit. Were there any traces of Asian people? I said, were there any traces of Asian people that may have sailed over from Japan and just found the land and just happened to sail to be there? You know what I'm saying? Like, has there any ever been like any wandering Asians that was discovered when the mother Americans brought their that? They say no, hell no. It won't well, no Asians over here. So my theory is, when you look at the convex Earth map, is there an aerial view of that map showing the countries and shit? Because I think there was one, and I seen it. I seen it. I'm looking for a, as a muscle view of that map right here. I got, got you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, I wish I could smoke, gonna... boy. Y'all boys, bro. Y'all boys, y'all. I'm jealous of y'all, boy. I wish I could smoke, bro. Cause I know. I'm hey, man. You know what? You know what? To be honest with y'all, man. Y'all talking about the vibes and shit right on the panel. Look, we need to solidify shit, man. I don't give a fuck. I link up with all y'all boys in real life and goddamn smoke with y'all niggas. Like, look, gotta, man, we can smoke and really politics. I gotta wait 23 years. I gotta wait 23 years, bro, to smoke, bro. I can't wait. You said you gotta wait two to three years. 23 years, 23. Bro. Damn, you gotta wait 23 years, brother. Why? Wow. Yeah, what you gotta because, wait 23 because, years for? Because because I'm a firefighter now, allow you to smoke that you can't smoke, bro. I gotta wait, bro. So you got <laughs> family, so, man. That's all you gotta do, bro. We men, bro. Men yeah, gotta man. be men, bro. Men yeah. gotta be men, bro. Because your kids gonna partake in that shit when they get grown. You all right? You know that the world gonna be stressful. You know that you did it. You can't say they ain't gonna do it. You know what I mean? So, so oh, I, I used, like, to, I used to smoke all the time. You know what I mean? Just, I'm not gonna smoke in front of my kids, but they probably gonna know. You know what I'm saying? Possibly smelling a little funny when he come in the house sometimes. When he take them a little. Fix. Oh, I used to I used to smoke all the time. Just you know, like job. I'm gonna have a little roster kids. Down, 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 Listen, listen though, listen though, real yeah. talk, man. Like, I feel like I add a little something to this shit, and I'm, and I'm gonna voice my opinion real quick. Look, we all talk good builds, bro. Like, we knowledgeable people. We do. People like us need to start something that we are a part of, and people like us can be a part of, and we can sustain ourselves for ourselves. We making good money. We ain't gotta go to jobs, bro. Right. You right. Because what, what we gotta understand is our knowledge is valuable not just to us but the people that come after us right hey mm -hmm. hey type in convex earth area view uh knowledge you might find yeah yeah because because i can't find shit right now it's driving me crazy <laughs> yeah yeah type in area view aerial is is it's got two a's not a e it's two a's two a's and where aerial a R I A L A R I A L. That's Ariel. We're like the real history channel here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of course. You know, like oh, A E R I A L. The Bible is is a record of history, right? Yeah, that's what C Freeman L said. C Freeman yep. L said that but the look, Bible is a, is a, is a history book. That's all it is. It the Bible is an astrology book. 
The Bible yes, is a book that tells the system of the world we live in. All it's a right. system. All old scriptures are. Depending mm -hmm. on yeah, the exactly. That's they where tell the same the story of the same yeah. system. Just now look, check way. this out. When he pulled this up, the lo the location of Japan is going to shock some of y'all. When y'all when y'all see Earth from the aerial perspective, the location of Japan is going to shock some of y'all. It's in the it should be in. Let's see here. I wish I could goddamn screen share. Yeah. Well, see, I, I think I, 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 see, I, I think I, the I, first place I seen it at. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pull it up on my damn phone. Now, hold up. This is what I got right here. You found one? Uh, not convex, but I got air reviews, but this ain't really. Helping work shit. I'm gonna see if I can find it for y'all. Oh man. Somebody somebody had it on a on a video on YouTube and I was looking oh, what? in Japan right there. Damn. These motherfuckers got Japan right there out of all places. And it was odd to me where it was positioned. And then I started thinking about uh J Japanese history and they, they folk folk. Lore and how they how they history went and shit like that. That shit just had me had it. Yeah, I might video if I can't find it down the actual picture of it. All right, so basically, long story short, what what the convex earth, y'all? Let's just pull up the regular uh, uh com. Go from there. I I try to go from there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. It affected, but uh, yeah. How about this? Basically, with the uh flat Earth map, as we know, but where Japan was positioned was 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 right below the top there. From the center, you're going south, so you know. Uh, Ice wall where there is an island on the side of the ice wall. There's a ice wall. That's actually what where it was positioned. Yeah, yeah. Go back to where you was at. Go back to where you was at. Whatever that shit was. Go back to that shit. That's cool. Right here. So yes. you see that ice wall where that island is right there? Right here. Right. Yeah. That ice wall is closer. Than it is to Hawaii. All right, so, so Japan is closer to that damn ice wall. So I, Japan is all right. If you move your mouse a little bit, a little bit down a little bit, right here, it look like an island right here. Like move your mouse a little, bit. yeah, just move, move it down a little bit, right here. Down around somewhere. there, right around there is uh, uh, just a little bit closer to that Japan. That's where Japan is shit at, right? Y'all know, you know, Dragon Ball in Japan by an old ass, old ass Asian person. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't just no kid that just came up with a fucking cool ass cartoon. Yeah, what's his name? Right, uh, so. uh, Akira Toriyama. That's his name. Akira Toriyama. This is ancient wisdom from his country. And the re what he did, he he, he, he know his perspective on how how he feel be in 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 conjunction of what it was or what this what is what is to become or what he saw it as becoming. Now, what he did was he put certain history facts, prophetic shit in his in his goddamn cartoon because when you're an army, that's the Russian. Yeah. I, I been said that. I been said the red that. Russians. I said I said because it symbolizes some, so, a mix between some Nazis and some Russian like. But you know, yeah. you notice how these so, guys in the convex are too is 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 um stating the fact that they 
they sent up um these weather balloons or these cameras and they seen other other lands beyond the ice wall. That's and what look, they say. Right, and and one of the look, fucking look partial map, maps because that's a partial map. Yeah, because that shit look, ain't really they, floating out there like they, that. Yeah, yeah, but see, they put another piece of, like another piece of continent right there behind behind now, the now, ice wall. Now let's just now let's just say that they just wanted to fool us and show us that it just was a small landmass when that landmass actually goes around the whole. It does though. It does though. It does yep. though. Because yep. this is yep. that's what they tried to say. And you know they what? tried to say they sent up that camera and this was um north of Russia, not little America. Remember remember um now, what's his now, name? Now, Admir- let's think Admiral real hard Bird. about this shit real quick. Admiral Bird said he's seen a, another continent beyond yeah. the poles. Matter, 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 matter of fact, these guys are let saying. Me, let me let me let me pop up the Admiral Bird interview. Russia. Have you guys yeah, heard the Admiral yeah, Bird interview? Yeah, pop that part up in the interview. Yeah, let let me let me uh that's, pop hey, up Admiral Bird. Sorry, you could pop, pop up that part in the context or Admiral documentary was talking about. because it's at the very end of the documentary where they're talking about they they seeing this um possibility a new land. For, and hey, they know that's, it's that's, that's that's what I was telling y'all boys. I said, what if what if the, what if what if what if what they've been telling us is that what if what if there is what if we live on one landmass? So so as, like, so so have you guys ever heard of Al Billy? Where where, yeah. where where he went to the future and and uh he went to he went to the future like three different times. He went he went from one time period to the next, and and it shows the evolution of everything and the stuff he described like when he woke up in the hospital because he was a part of philadelphia experiment you want to know how i know time travel is possible because if your ass can change time zone right no i time travel every day we all time travel every day yeah some people just move as fast as others yeah it's always going so we time it's not right it's it's here, I'm gonna let you guys hear Admiral Bird. Hold on. It's time for the Longine Chronoscope, a television journal of the important issues of the hour. Brought to you. Hey, I'm getting some interference. Y'all breaking up real heavy, man. I'm gonna just. The Longine with Norwatch Company, maker of Longine, the world's Now, this was a watch company doing an interview. And with Nor, distinguished companion to the world honored Longine. Put it up on the screen. May I introduce our co-editors for this edition of the Longine Chronoscope? Larry Lasser, CBS News correspondent, and Kenneth Crawford, National Affairs Editor of Newsweek magazine. Our very distinguished guest for this evening is Admiral Richard E. Byrd. The North Pole used to be a no-man's land, but uh, these are the days when, by buying a ticket on a commercial airline, you can fly across the North Pole and drink a cocktail at the same time. You know, only three score or more years ago, about 35 years ago, our guest tonight found out whether there was any land north of the North American continent. He made that first discovery flight, and I must say that Admiral Byrd, our guest tonight, is not only our greatest living explorer, but he's been an inspiration to countless Americans. Admiral Byrd, you've been to both the North Pole and the South Pole. Is there any unexplored land left on this earth? that might appeal to adventurous young Americans? Uh, Yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really usable, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. Big as the United States. that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing. There you go. So if you pause that now, and then you, you go to the... Um, a lot of adventure left down at the bottom of the world. Well, do you hope to see that? I do. Well, Admiral, yeah. would you say that since you've been to both the extremities of Earth, are these expeditions to such far-off places, are they getting easier because of modern techniques, or still is danger still close at hand? Well, it's a little risky, but... And nothing like it used to be with the old slow planes and the small cruising radius where we had to put down bases. We replaced the dog teams, and of course that was a big improvement. 
But now the planes go much faster and they are safer and they have a much bigger cruising radius. You haven't got the danger of a terribly heavy load. Admiral, a, an expedition to which I believe you're the advisor is now en route. Uh, what is that expedition doing? Well, that's the icebreaker Atka. And it's a reconnaissance expedition. It's going down to the South Pole area to make certain observations and to, to look for some bases. They will be back in April and they will report back. And upon the information we get from that undertaking, uh, we will base the bigger expedition that's to follow. Uh, is that very definitely planned or uh, is that... Uh, that is being planned right now. So I'm willing to say to you that uh, there will be a number of expeditions that will follow, I think, uh, year after year bottom of the world because the government has really become interested. Well, Admiral Byrd, I can understand. I think everybody can the interest in the North Pole because it's so near our greatest challenger, Soviet Russia. But for why this interest in the bottom of the world? Nobody living down there, is there? No, it's, um, it's pretty cold. There's only one permanent resident. That's the Emperor Penguin. The little ones live further north. I tell you one reason they're interested. It's by far the most uh, valuable, important place left in the world for science. That's why the scientific groups all over the nation are really interested. But more important than that, it's, uh, it has to do with the future uh, of the nation, those to come after us, or even uh, during your lifetime. Because you here with this man, man. an untouched reservoir of natural resources. Yeah, I, I listen to uh, that lots of times. You know, times. as the world swings with an ever-increasing acceleration, far-flung places, once useless, like we thought the North Pole was, and no man's land, become very useful. The, the bottom of the world will be important, not only to us, but to our allies. Uh, does it, I was going to ask you, does it have military importance? Uh, it has some, and uh, as the world shrinks, it will continue to shrink with an ever-increasing acceleration, thus bringing these places closer. And in the future, I can see a time when it will be very, very important strategically. Well, has the and, development and of air power increased there? The strategic importance of places like the... Uh, oh, very much so. Peninsula, we'll say. Uh, very much so. Even now... It is speaking if, uh, in cold, uh, uh, Yeah, because he's trying to tell us something. What he's trying to tell us is that he found another, another world, another continent. Between there and Cape Horn. I've heard it said that uh, there are seven continents in the world. And, uh, and that it's going to be useful for us that today that is that actually in the true? future. Well, that's if the Pomer Peninsula is an island, as far as I know, that's true. No woman's ever stepped foot upon the Antarctic continent, and it's the most peaceful place in the world. Well, I'm sure that won't last very long. Uh, until uh, Amelia Earhart. I understand now that you're working with the, uh, the Arnold Brett Company. They get Amelia Earhart. Is there any future for frozen foods down these frozen extremities? Well, I think... The, she uh, died in Antarctica. Uh, this was thought out by Dean Arnold, who's, uh, in my opinion, a great humanitarian. He uh, learned that we went down there after four or five years and finished a meal that we had left there on the table when we had evacuated Little America. Everything was perfect, including the bread. So he got the idea of this frozen bread. And already we sent some to, he sent some to Europe that was very, worked very well over there for the summer starving people. So you can store it down to the Antarctic and against the lean years and he wouldn't have any people in the world really starving if he did that. So the event of an you hear that? He said that now same meal they had on that table stayed there for five years what when they came the back to do ate that same yep. shit that was sitting there. Right. Five years. Okay. Right. That's deep, yeah, boys. He's sticking in cold. Within 180 miles of the South Pole, in a great uh, ridge of mountains that's not covered with snow, enough to supply the whole world for quite a while. Enough oil to supply the whole cold. world. Now, there's evidence of uh, other, many other minerals. Uh, we are pretty sure there's oil. Now, that coal shows the bottom of the world. Now, by far, the coldest spot in the world. Where that coal is gets 100 below zero. Well, uh, it was once tropical. 
So uh, we think once it's Trump, and evidence. That's, that's how they create all that damn Trump rocket fuel. Is it any secret? Is there uranium there? That would be the only thing that would be practical. Uranium. To, uh, actually talking about after, rocket fuel. Everything else uranium. That's what they use to make what? Uh, atomic bombs, atomic missiles, right. rockets. Well, mm-hmm. Uh, Spend their resources. The time that's where they. That's where they're so getting you, all of their freaking resources up. from. Well, you know, I've heard all that uranium, uranium and all that um, and titanium. Oh, Antarctic. And already, is there a competition among other nations to try to get How information? Much you want to the 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 that's where they get a lot of platinum from too. Well, hey, I believe you probably can't even listen to this shit in other countries. In some countries. Well, you know, right after this interview, Admiral Byrd. When he did another expedition and he died on the expedition, and then that's the same year NASA came out and they banned exploration going. And you know what? Antarctica. What year did he die? I think it was 19, if I'm not mistaken. I, I'm saying it off right top of the head. I think it's 1957. Mm-hmm. But, I'm a, no. I'm a, but I'm gonna make sure. Now, hey, sure. Yeah, something. Some, so he, he died out there. He died out there. NASA was already in the 57 59. NASA was already in the stages of trying to get them because think about it. The yeah, because he, he said the world they got jealous of the communi- community. Were 1958. I was a year behind. I was a year behind. 1958. That yeah. was the same Look at year. Amelia Earnhardt. Amelia Earnhardt died in 34. It, it wasn't just NASA that was formed then. It was all the world science community. That's why he says the world science science community all took an interest down there. And, um. According to them, down there at the bottom of so the So they world, killed right? off Admiral Burr because he knew too much. Right. He went not on his show hey, talking about it. Not only that, oh. not only that, though. Not only that, though. Think about this, y'all boy. The race to space. I th- like I said again, they speaking in codes because they can't say too much on TV. When they when mm-hmm. they said Russia was race to space, I honestly believe they were trying to race to see who would be the first one to get there. And I honestly believe, check this out, and I honestly believe the whole Apollo mission to the moon I honestly believe, bro, what they was really talking about, dog, was going to Antarctica, dog, because that's the only reason why you would think they'll have all those suits and you had the white stuff on the floor and all that shit. But I think, dog, like I'm just, I'm just going on a limb, dog. I honestly believe, bro, they, they trying, they was trying to figure out how to get there, and I honestly believe that's the reason why they're taking all the resources out of the earth so they can make that journey, y'all boys. Like, you know what I mean? No, I think they just know, made up the moon mission to distract you know us what I believe? from, from the, the, the the um Antarctica. That's, so that's that, what I'm saying. That's, I that's believe. We would not, yeah, we would not question. I, okay, why yeah. were why why don't you guys want to exped, expedite no more? Because this guy just went out on national television and told everybody that there's a new continent and everything, and there's uranium and enough coal to supply the whole world. So now it's all out there, right? So how are you going to distract the public from um hey, going hey, after these natural hey, resources? Up. Check this out. Look at the and look going at the, in a different direction, right? <laughs> right. Hey, hey, look at the year. Look at the year of the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, when right. Admiral Burr made that speech. Look at when Admiral Burr made that speech. Look at the year of the year. Look at look at the year died. Look at the year NASA came about. Then you get a picture. And, and that's, that's, that's that, look at the year, look at the year that Kennedy, because Kennedy also talked about that shit and they killed his ass. Because Kennedy they, got killed 11 22 63. Oh, I know Ken, Kennedy. 12 01. Y'all listen to the speech that Kennedy made. He was talking about the whole space exploration and, and taking away the banks. Because I honestly believe, bro, when he found out about this shit, that there's other land, I honestly think, bro, he was talking about, hey, listen, y'all, like, we need to, like, really, like, get on this shit, you know what I mean? Take away all the banks and. Like Kennedy he had a flat earth map in his office. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. He knew a lot too. Yeah. Kennedy Kennedy was about to be Kennedy was about to be the next the first oh he, Kennedy was gonna be the first Obama. Right, right. So to say. So to say, because he was about to save the whole world with the knowledge he knew. Right, he was about to yeah. basically go against his own people. He was going against his own people, which was dangerous at the time because the mobsters and shit was in the government. So they right. knew how to do illegally and also how to clean it up legally. So shit, shit, shit was taking place in them days that nowadays, if you said, if you talked about it, only pe- certain people from certain generations is going to understand could really be true because because people from younger generations they'll say man that's some that's some that's some movie 
movie shit. You watch too many movies. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Not- but 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 they don't understand that these come from a thought. Every thought was birthed off of something that was inspired that, that inspired that thought. Now check this out. Check this was out. inspired check this out. by check some kind of event. Check this out. You feel me? Now you said a so monster, cause all this all this add up. When did the fucking Jetsons come out? That shit came out in the fucking what fifties? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I during it, check it out. So during you know, the industrial revolution. So obviously during they had obviously, the obviously, obviously they had in their mind. Now hold on. Now hold up. 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 Cause you just made a big point. Who's in general came out? Steamboat uh, with and shit. He was, he was, he was ex- you're, you're cutting out my bro. For a second there, we didn't sure. hear what you're saying. What's going on in the church? Can you look? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we could hear you now. <clears throat> Maybe you're just talking hey, check out of your mic. Is that out? So like, yeah, the Flintstones and shit like that. That came out around the same time that when when Antarctica they went to exploration in Antarctica one time, motherfucking flying saucer shit. I was floating in the sky. They didn't know what the fuck it was. Just <laughs> something happened out there. Not only that, and, not only that, some some took place. And them motherfuckers can explain they had to get the fat heart of They had to get all right. So 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 when they had when they came in encounter with these motherfucking knowledge to the real world, they use cartoons to make jokes about the shit and educate the youth on certain shit, but make it seem like it's fake. And the whole, whole generation is asleep. But the grown ups who really know the truth, it's entertainment to them. So back in them days, you really had you really had thirty and forty year old motherfuckers watching cartoons. Check this out. Check this out, though. That's now check this out. Not to cut you today. off. Not our comedy, you... the, bro. Our comedy shows today is real people. They comedy shows back in them days was cartoons. Not not to cut you off though, but I honestly believe that the little Martian dude and the Flintstones was Tesla. They was making fun of Tesla. That was Tesla in that fucking. If you go back and look at that cartoon, that little Martian dude. They was they was they was talking about Tesla in that fucking cartoon, bro. You know what I mean? Like if you really go back and think about it, everything that we saying right now is adding up because Tesla was breaking forth what free energy. Tesla, they said Tesla is responsible for Wi-Fi. Like he he already had saw into the future and shit. Like you know what I mean? Of everything that we that we dealing with now is accredited to Tesla. That's true shit. And you know what? You know what Einstein said? I they hey, you know what? What we what we really gotta understand is people's personalities. People people don't understand personalities too much too well nowadays. We so dis we desensitize and we don't even fucking know it. Now look, Einstein was a particular type of he was smart as fuck, but he was he was a weirdo. In, in, in standards of of regular people, so he wasn't of the norm of his of his regular day people. He was ob ab, just like, like Tesla. Okay, so so he, you know, he didn't know how to tie his shoes. His shoes was like Velcro or some some or, or, or some kind of straps or something. He didn't he he didn't know how to do certain certain basic shit. Do brilliant shit, right? Now, now Einstein said he said uh. He has a problem with scientists at the time of his lifetime because he says he uses his own works to justify their beliefs in saying that there is no creator. So that right there says a lot. Einstein said he had a problem with people saying, oh, I agree with Einstein with the rel- with the theory of whatever the fuck it is because no creator or saying a statement like that and on record and shit Einstein had a problem with that you know what I'm saying so that says a lot about his character when people say he's the genius but they also say he was working for the government and he was basically 
you know, uh, uh, a person who who was trying, who basically on a run from his own country or whatever, he had trade, betrayed his country, so he came to the U.S. to do work. You can say all kind of shit. He was a Nazi, whatever it may be. The dude was in, and his his outcome was just a little bit different. Tesla was a different individual, so his outcome. Ooh, Tesla's Tesla's works right now auctioned off in buildings we don't even know about. Like he got he got shit that 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 is like five of our time right now. Blitz and fucking cell phones was like probably on page one first on in his first book or whatever. It was ahead of his time. Just like, like what Einstein did for the world was identify the language in math. That's basically what Einstein's whole legacy was about. The fact that numbers have a language that we that we understand that there is a system out here numbers is evidential of a system when you have numbers you have a system automatically so so when you understand that there is a language with numbers then you understand that there is a system at at, at bay you understand that there is some sort of organization going on you know what i'm saying so that's what he understood he he basically stood for the fact that there is there is a way to harness that of reality it's a way to harness that element of a system that exists it's a way to harness that that uh, of that system you know what i'm saying the energy the aether or whatever he was studying whatever that that brought him to that conclusion that he could build free energy and have that have that running everywhere in the world for him to understand that he understood the system just like einstein did i to say about einstein though y'all yeah? Build up, yeah, real talk. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hey, and again, man, look, I hate to cut this short, guys, but we had an amazing, amazing build and an amazing uh panel tonight, man. We got we got to do this again, guys. I I gotta go handle some stuff, gotta get myself ready for work, but I, I was I, I really wanted to get on here with you guys and and, and holler at you guys and and see you guys different perspectives and and, and, and thank y'all for engaging with me in, in this content you guys are amazing like i said we got to do it again got to do it again for sure man for sure hey man if y'all ain't if y'all ain't ready to go man we can still probably build man but you can start you you, you can got you can um if you got to go ahead and check out man that's cool yeah. man but i do appreciate being on the panel like always so you already you already know you already know how we do bro Again, appreciate you guys, man. Hey, hey, knowledge. Yeah, what's, what's up, up, brother? Hey, if you gotta go live, bro, hit me, send me a request, bro. I, I love, I love this beer. I know we can't get on with uh, brother Sanchez all the time, but you know what I'm saying. We can still build. You know what I mean. So let me know when you go live, bro. All right. Well, hey, I was thinking about doing it probably a little later, man, because I gotta go handle some things in a little bit. So, like I said, probably a little later, man. I, I, I I'm willing to hop back on if if y'all down, you know. Yeah, get advice. Get some people in here. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of wanted to make a move too, just to <laughs> go do do a little thing, and then yeah, I was just gonna say that I was gonna hop back on in a second. So, so I'm gonna holler at you guys later. Hey, everybody that's watching, make sure y'all like and share this video, and shout out to everybody that was on the panel. Later.